In this video, you're going to learn how to create remarketing lists inside Google Analytics. We'll cover how to create custom audiences and how to target your ads to that remarketing list right within Google AdWords. There are two options for creating remarketing lists inside Google Analytics. The first option is to create a segment and then use the segment as an audience list. And the second option is to create an audience list directly inside the admin section of Google Analytics. Let's start by creating a segment. I can head into the standard reports and I can click Add Segment. You'll also find a list of default segments under System. These defaults are available for everybody using Google Analytics, so there are some good options here you can start using immediately. For example, Non-Converters is a good segment to begin using as a remarketing list for your AdWords campaigns. But we can also create our own custom segments as well. Click New Segment, and then I have a range of options for creating my segment. On the left, you'll find some default starting points. You'll see demographics, technology, behavior, and so forth. And you also have the option of creating advanced segments based on a condition, which allows you to include sessions and users based on your own requirements. You can also create sequence-based segments if you want to include particular actions in a particular order to include people in your segment. I'm going to click on Conditions, and I'm going to create a new segment for people viewing a particular product page on my website where those users haven't converted. So let's go ahead and create the segment. I start by selecting Users. Then I'm going to select Page, and then enter the details for the particular page that I want people to view. And then I'm going to add an AND statement, and select Goal Completions per user equals zero, which means we'll only be showing ads to users that haven't converted on our website and they've seen our particular product page that I've specified. Now I'm going to save my segment. Now I can see that the segment has been applied to my report and I can now select Build Audience on the drop-down. This will now send me to the admin section of Google Analytics and allow me to build my remarketing list based on the segment I've just created. I name my audience and save it, which will now make it available inside Google AdWords. So that's the first option for creating a remarketing list using Google Analytics. The other way to build a list is to come straight into Audiences in the Admin section and click New Audience. We can see there are some recommended audiences that are automatically suggested inside Google Analytics, including Smart List, All Users, New Users, and so forth. And you also have the option of importing a segment similar to what we've just completed, or you can create a new audience from scratch. It uses the exact same method that we've just used to create a segment, so I can come in and I can create my audience list. I'm going to create a list for e-commerce transactions of a low value. I'm then going to use this list to cross-sell other products on my website from my AdWords campaigns. Once I've created my list, I can click Apply, and I can name my list, and this will be available inside my Google AdWords account. Now that I've created my audience list, I can head into Google AdWords and I'll need to use my new list as a target for my campaign. This will now mean I'm targeting ads to people based on the data I've collected into Google Analytics. These are just two examples of audience lists to get you started. Remember you can use the full power of segmentation inside Google Analytics to create your own list to use with your campaigns. Now that we're in Google AdWords, we can use our audience list for targeting. For display campaigns, we can create a new ad group, and we can select interests and remarketing as the targeting option. From this, we can now select remarketing lists, and we'll find the list we've created inside Google Analytics available for our ad group targeting. For your search campaigns, you can also make use of your audience lists. Just come into your search campaign and look for audiences. From here, you can actually add your audience list and use this to adjust bids for your search campaigns as well. So that's how you can create remarketing lists inside Google Analytics.
Tell me how you're using remarketing. Let me know and leave your tips in the comments below.